Well, Sunderland are where everyone in this league wants to be right now, at the summit and looking down on the rest. These Sunderland players have got a city dreaming again that this could just be their time again. But they know other big hitters are lining up behind them, ready to come for them should they slip. A quarter of the season gone, right now in the table, no team in the championship can better Sunderland. start tonight and take the game to Sunderland and give Sunderland a, a column or two in the opening stages. Frockier with that pass inside, plenty in the box here for Preston North End, Greenwood waiting and somehow it didn't go in. Greenwood slams the turf and Kessler Hayden holds his head. I like the initial play though and how well does Brad Potts do to keep this ball in and then the run from deep and Greenwood I think he's having a debate, does he hit it first time? He probably can't because it's a little bit behind him. And then Kessler Hayden, he's probably not expecting this. Trey Hume. John by Neil looking to try and set Connolly away. Kessler Hayden lets it go. Emil Reese. Looks from him, straight to Rick. Isidore closing in here for Sunderland. And he ripples the side netting of Freddie Woodman's goal. Preston is so compact, so that switch out if it's a good ball works. And you see Isidore trying to cut him, find that near post area, but misses the target, and that was a risk. Story reacting and driving through the gap. Greenwood calling for the ball on this side of the pitch. He was the target. Hume deals with it initially. Now Kessler Hayden. Greenwood again. Well, how did that not go in? Frockier was waiting. So much space, so much time. But he didn't hit the target. And that's the question, isn't it? I think everyone in this stadium, even the Sunderland fans behind the goal, were expecting the net to ripple. It's a good ball out to Greenwood initially. Kessler Hayden does well to play the ball back. And this is a wonderful ball. It's whipped, bags of pace on it. Head in hands moment for Frockier because he gets it completely wrong. And that should be 1 0 Preston. Well, no Joe Bellingham on the pitch tonight, but he's travelled across here from Wearside to watch his teammates play as he starts a three game ban after his sending off. At Queen's Park Rangers at the weekend, and he is right in there with the Sunderland fans. It's a high outswinging one, Lindsay was battling for it, likewise Hughes. Lindsay looking to stand his ground again. And Sunderland don't get the foul that they were looking for. Chris Rick picks himself up. There's McCann. Another testing ball inside the box, Hughes has stayed forward, that's an important block, a really important block, a painful one too. Sunderland with a man down, the referee has had to bring play to a halt. It was Luke O'Neill who flung himself at it and took the full hit there. It does, and I'll tell you what I really like about this is the header down. It's really intelligent there. And then he's running in O'Neill, putting his body on the line. And I've been told that that hurts. Don't know myself, but I'm sure that's very painful. Woodman tries to pounce on that, and then he couldn't get to it. Aaron Connolly came flying in. Woodman looked to try and get to it. Connolly beat him to the punch. Yeah, it's a fantastic ball in story. Up now, but he was down. I think he takes a bit of a knock in the process. But this is a brilliant run, and then putting that ball in that near post area. Woodman is lucky, really, he gets something on the ball. Now a 
it's Sunderland who are leading the way. They've been asked a, a few stern questions in the first half here. There could be another one on the way, it's Reese And more reacts! Wow, brilliant save by the way. Reese does so well here. Turns, fashions himself half a yard. Looks like he's heading for that top right hand corner. And that is a wonderful save just before half time. Rick. He can just smuggle that ball through and some last ditch defending, last ditch defending from Story. Make sure that that didn't progress any further. Yeah, it was vital that he put himself in the way and actually looked a little bit dangerous at the time. You're thinking, might he arrow that towards his own net? A, a scout from Borussia Dortmund here tonight. We wonder whether he might be looking at Chris Rigg. Maybe he booked his ticket before he knew Joe Bellingham was suspended. Maybe he's looking at Kane Kessler Hayden. But Borussia Dortmund have a representative here tonight. I'll just name every single player so I get one right eventually. <laughs> Play the odds, mate. <laughs> There's Isidore. Seen the gap. Still going here, Isidore. He goes down. Just outside the box. That was close. Really close, he manages to wriggle out of a couple of challenges. Ball fortuitously drops his way, but again, loves getting on the run. That little touch there does the defender. And then it's that one from Whiteman, clip of the back of the hills, and this will give us a better view. I do think it's outside the box, and that's where the contact is initiated. Referee gets that spot on. Connolly's having a look. Alan Brown is part of the conversation too. It's Brown. Not the big moment on his return he was looking for. I mentioned it in the first half when Preston had a free kick on the edge of the box and it's really difficult from that sort of angle. Dan Neal, Romain Mundell, looking to make room for the cross, he's dug that cross out, and the shot fired in, Matthew Roberts looking to try and keep that down, which he did, and Woodman at the guard is near post. It's a good ball, and you're thinking, you're not going to have a go from there, are you? Put it back across for your teammates, but I guess a good connection on it, Roberts, and has to force the save. Sunderland will hold on to their position as number one in the championship. Sunderland hold on to power at the top of the championship. They were kept out at the weekend by Queen's Park Rangers. Tonight they've been kept out by Preston North End. Preston had the better chances in the first half, but didn't take their opportunities. Sunderland up the gears in the second, but couldn't find a way through. Sunderland still number one in the championship where everyone wants to be right now. It's finished. Preston off end nil, Sunderland nil.